All right, so uh, this is a 99 Jeep Cherokee. Um, the reason I am changing up my uh, throttle positioning sensor is because uh, my vehicle was idling real rough and then the uh, RPM needle was just going up and down, up and down, up and down, then it would stall out. Um, I cleaned the uh, idle air control valve because this was before my check engine light came on and then um, the engine light came on uh, when I cleaned the uh, idle air control valve, it got better for maybe half a day and then it started doing the same thing and then that's when the check engine light came on. I went and got it checked and it was uh, recommending to change out my uh, throttle positioning sensor. So that's the reason behind this. All right, guys. So the tools you're going to need for this job is going to be your new throttle position sensor. You're going to need a ratchet and you're going to need a T20 Torx socket and uh if you have trouble getting these uh, screws off, you would need another ratchet um, with an extension and a 10 millimeter. Um, but that's only if you're having trouble taking off the screws for the throttle position sensor. Um, other than that, you just need these. All right, guys, let's get started. So I'm here at my local junkyard to grab a throttle positioning sensor. So. Uh, Thought I'd bring you guys on this trip with me and uh, I'll be back when I uh, get in. All right, we made it in and uh, let's go get this uh, throttle positioning sensor. So, the reason I'm getting it is because uh, my Jeep keeps uh, kind of like choking from the fireworks and uh, falling. So, that's the reason I'm getting it. I wish I could show you, but every time I go to film it, it stops. But when I'm not filming, it is so horribly uh, noticeable. But, um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, grab this bad boy. All right, all right. Going on this one. That sucks. Let's see if we can uh, find it on another one. Going on this one too. Jeez, I might not have no luck today. Oh, got one. So there it is. That one, not that one, that one. So uh, let me get set up and uh, we'll get going. All right, got my T20, my ratchet. Let's start getting this bad boy right here. Usually your intake uh, will come here, your uh, air box, and it'll go right there. But uh, this is gone. So. So this isn't the right year, but hoping it works. All right, S sorry. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna clean it up before I install it and uh, let's go see if we can find another one. All right guys, so I was able to locate one from a Jeep Cherokee 2000 and uh, I think it was a 2000. So hopefully one of these work. If they don't, I'll have to purchase one, but uh, let's get out of here. coming up to the door so uh be right back all right we're back in the parking lot all right we're gonna come over here to the driver's side and with our ratchet and our uh, t20 i already disconnected it by the way all i did was uh, i pushed this down popped it out 
The only reason I disconnected it is because I wanted to make sure that the new one fit in the connection because I actually got it from a, a Grand Cherokee and um, it looks like it's gonna fit. So we're gonna try it right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, put our uh, Torx in there. Oh, you gotta be careful with these things because they don't like to cooperate. All right, so because mine is so old, these are giving me a little bit of issue. I don't want to strip them out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the whole uh, top of the throttle body off uh, to make it easier to get to this for me, uh, which is not too hard. It's just a couple wires and some screws. So um, first thing you want to do is loosen up that clamp, pop this bad boy off, keep that to the side, and then just pull up right there. That'll come off, move that to the side. Uh, next thing you're gonna want to do is um, Actually, you know what we might not even have to remove these. Let's see how it goes, but uh, first thing uh, There's one 10 millimeter two 10 millimeters uh, Three and then four 10 millimeters, so let's uh grab that and uh, we'll continue. All right, so I got my 10 millimeter with my extension all I'm gonna do is uh, Break these So that's all I'm doing because I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab uh, my um, handy dandy drill to uh, make this a little bit faster. So give me a minute. All right. Got my handy dandy. That one. Two. Three. And then we'll get that fourth one. All right. So we got our four. Pop these bolts up. Alright, so we got all four out, put those to the side, and now let's disconnect our, uh, our uh, idle air control valve. Uh, let me, give me a minute, I'll disconnect, I'll be right back. Alright, so I got it disconnected. All I'm going to do, it's a little hot, so I'm just going to grab it, and then uh, I'm going to leave all those uh, wires connected. And all I'm gonna do is just turn it towards me like this, just so I can get a better uh, grip, because as you can see, that's stripping out a little bit, which uh, we don't wanna do, so I'll do that and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I decided to take off the throttle body um, to make it easier for me to get that bolt. So all I did was I pushed these forward and then popped them out, pushed this forward and then pop it out, just like that. And then this one, you just push it and then Pop it out like that. Just like th just like that, and it'll pop right out. Just to get the throttle body off, um, because I was having trouble getting uh, a Torx bit in that um, uh, TPS uh, sensor, but I just wanted to show you how I took it off. Um, but for the most part, I got it off. Uh, it's right here. Uh, I had trouble getting it off, but um, I got it. Uh, if you strip out the screw like I did, the best thing to do is to get a grinder, uh, cut a little notch in the screw so you can put a flat head and then just twist it off. Um, but if that don't work, then you can just grind the head off and then um, this will pop right off. So just to show you what it was, it was just like this. And then uh, once I, uh, once that I grinded that screw off, I just popped it off. And if, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop the new one on and then um, we'll pop this throttle body back on. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so here's the new one from the junkyard. Uh, to get it on, all you gotta do is just twist it uh, this way a little bit, and it'll come on, and then you could just put it to wherever you need it to be. Um, and then uh, I recommend uh, checking if your screws are stripped before you actually take it off, or even trying to take it off before you replace it. Um, so once you go to the store to get it, 
or the junkyard, you can also get the two screws that you need. Um, just a recommendation. So uh, let's get these bad boys in. And then uh, show you how to get it back uh, where it goes. Um, so I'm just doing it right here only because I already have the throttle body off. Um, you don't have to take it off, but since I already had it off, I'm just going to go ahead and put it on down here since it will be easier for me. Good enough. Good enough. Check this one again. Good enough. All right, let's get this bad boy back on. Here we go. So let's just move all this. So you're going to go under all this stuff. And then you're going to go like this. And then just drop it right on top. Might have to adjust though. Um, so make sure your gasket is in the same place it was and that it didn't fall out. Let's get these screws in and then I'll show you how to put all this back on. All right, we got our, uh, our bolts. Let's put these bad boys in. Nothing special. Don't do that and drop them. We're gonna grab our uh, 10 millimeter with the extension and then do these by hand all the way down. Next one. So let's get our ratchet now. Handy dandy. And uh, we're gonna get these bad boys. Oh, nope, gotta go that wrong other way. All right, so we're gonna, you just want these to be snug. You don't wanna overdo it. nice and snug so now we can uh, get our wires back on so all you got to do is pull this one out and with a little force it's easier with two hands ah, all right got it on same thing with this one see that you gotta pull it a little bit forward Sometimes you gotta push this down and then uh, push it on close. Same thing with this one, just pull it forward. And then uh, pull it forward and then push it back. But you gotta make sure it clicks because if it doesn't click, it's not in. See, that ain't going nowhere. All right, so now got everything on. Let's start putting our connections. This is the idle air control valve. I cleaned that already. It helped my situation, but unfortunately, uh, it didn't uh, solve the issue. All right, click. Let's do 
this one. All right, nice click. Probably gotta get a zip tie for this. And don't worry about it right now. Same thing with this. Click. All right, that's in. Um, next thing to do, let's grab our uh, hose. Put that bad boy in here and then right over there. All right, so next thing you gotta do is, um, I don't know if you could see this right here, you just push these two together and it tightens it up. Same thing over here. Make sure it's on, push them together, it tightens up, and uh, that's how you change your uh, throttle position sensor. Um, hope you guys like it. Please comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, guys.